Want to see some real life examples of my singing transformation method and how I and many of my students were able to develop powerful and free singing voices? In this video, we're going to set aside the theory and I'm going to take you behind the scenes and share some real life stories with you. So I was definitely not born with a great singing voice and I was actually told on multiple occasions by people who are quite close to me to just give up and stop trying to pursue it because I didn't have what it takes. Despite all of this, I pushed through and I was able to develop a confident and powerful singing voice. I'm gonna share with you exactly how that happened, so stay tuned till the end. In the last four videos that we've gone through, we covered a lot of ground. I shared the easiest way to find your full voice in your higher range, and I walked you step by step through my entire blueprint. In case you haven't watched those first four videos yet, you should go back and watch them now because I give a lot of value in those more than some paid courses that you'll find. In this video we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to walk you through some actual case studies and I'm going to share with you exactly how I discovered my singing transformation method and how I teach my students that same method to improve and develop a strong and powerful voice. First, let's start off with my story. I started out wanting to be a part of a band. I had a few friends, we formed a group, and they asked me, you know, we all play instruments, what instrument are you going to play? And I said, I want to sing. And they actually all laughed. That was the first kind of embarrassing moment that I had regarding singing and something that stuck with me for a while. And once I pushed through that and I said, no, no, no I'll, I'll do it. I'll learn. I'll, I'll do everything I can to be able to get better. So I started to jump headfirst into singing rock music. And back then I was singing in a group where they had amplifiers. The drum set was really loud and I literally had not nothing. I, I didn't invest in any sort of equipment. We were practicing for good three hours a day and I was doing it completely without any amplification and I'm pretty convinced that that's where a lot of my bad habits started. After doing that for a long time we were performing live and once we were performing live people would come up and tell us how what they thought of the show. Some people had mentioned maybe it'd be a good idea to get some voice lessons. So after first being very against it and pushing back very hard not wanting to be in voice lessons, I eventually relented and said, okay, okay, I'll, tr I'll try. I'll figure out what all this is about. So what did I do? I went into Cosmo Music back then. I don't know if they do private lessons anymore, but it was just a local music store actually that had a music school in the back. And so I worked with their singing teacher and their singing teacher was a talented opera singer herself, but she knew very little about beginner singers since she was born with a good voice. She didn't know anything about what it took to develop a good voice. And so I took these lessons for about two years and in those two years, I actually ended up developing a lot of bad habits because of the things that she told me that would have been very applicable had I had a good foundation in the voice, but I didn't. And so it actually ended up costing me a lot of time to be able to fix those. So like every other person nowadays does, but back then, I guess I was pretty revolutionary in this. I turned to the internet, wanted to figure out Somebody out there in the world has to have an answer. Can't be that I'm stuck sucking at singing. Back then, my, for those of you who know notes, my highest note was an E4. And that opera teacher, she told me, you're never gonna sing above an E4. Don't even try, just go to falsetto. So I, I was not okay with that. So once I turned to the internet, I noticed that there were a bunch of courses that you could take. Now, back then, they didn't have online courses. They were actually mailed out courses. Like, they would mail you out a box of CDs to work through. And I literally ordered every single one that was available. I went through everything because I really wanted to get down to the bottom of this and figure out exactly how do I do this? How do I master my voice? And so I studied with those for about three years and again, develop some bad habits because I was only relying on my own ear to be able to figure out what to do, 
right or wrong, and a lot of it ended up being wrong. Uh, also, there was a lot of misinformation in a lot of those courses. There was a lot of conflicting information. So one course would say X and the other course would say Y. And I was like, okay, which one is it? So eventually I got one-on-one -on -one lessons. I saved up, splurged, got one-on-one -on -one lessons. When I did, that's when things started to clear up and they started to become much more obvious. And you can notice in the video I'm gonna show you in a, in a minute or two, that was around 2012, 2013, when things started to click. And then once they started to click, the, the ball started to roll and my voice was getting so much better, so much quicker. And I started to develop a method of how to sing and how to improve your voice and how to go from sucking and having the wrong muscles working to getting the right muscles working and being confident and feeling powerful by my voice. So this is kind of the, the journey that I took and have been very fortunate to be able to take other students through that same journey much quicker, might I add. So this is a very quick snippet of my transformation from where I started to where I ended up. Here is my vocal transformation over the past decade. When a man loves a woman, when a man loves a woman, wrong now I long for yesterday. All in the major lift, the baffled king composing. At night, if I do you, baby. See then the stars, they burn. I hope you enjoyed that short clip of my transformation. It gives you a sneak peek behind the scenes of how I was able to develop my own singing transformation method to be able to walk students step by step through. This is something that you get in a very laid out and clear, concise way in my AM Vocal Masterclass that's going to be released in the next couple days. Here is some feedback that I've received on my singing transformation method and a look at my students who have seen immense results already. Hey, my name's Matt, and I've been working with Adam over the past couple years, and uh, originally found his singing transformation video on YouTube. And as someone who grew up playing instruments, but was never too talented at singing, uh, the video was really inspiring for me, watching his transformation, and I thought maybe he could help me do the same thing. And um, he's been amazing to work with. He puts a lot of time and energy into the lessons that we do. Uh, he always gives me stuff to work on in between sessions, both exercises and different songs that I'm working on so that I can really get the most out of our time together. Uh, so if you guys are looking for someone to help you with your singing, I would highly recommend Adam. And uh, thanks so much, bro, for all your help. Just to, I guess, share my experience working with Adam is uh, uh, I've made some unbelievable progress doing uh, and developing my voice well beyond what I ever believed I could. And especially for me, I started out with virtually every bad possible habit or problem or issue that you could have. Number one, I'm 69 years old and I never sang a note in my life uh, before I started with this. I had a prior instructor and he just wasn't doing anything but say, learn to sing songs that are in your range. And uh, Adam was very open-minded, uh, started with some fundamentals, uh, and I've had to overcome a lot of issues with his coaching from posture to uh, just how to sing the note, how to uh, express the notes, how to you know use your abdomens and shape your vocal cords and on and on and on. So it's been a, a struggle for quite a while, 
because I just couldn't do all that, but it's finally starting to connect. So I'm able to reach notes way higher than I ever dreamt I could without that an eyelash, do songs I never thought I'd be able to begin to do. I would definitely endorse uh, the lessons with Adam because I know I wasn't getting anywhere before. And, you know, with his coaching, I've had to address issue after issue after issue after issue. And now it's finally starting to come together. It works. Uh, it takes time. It takes patience. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, the videos are real good. You can play them back. And it's been a good experience. Well worth doing it. The video conferencing works phenomenal. Uh, it's just as good as being live and maybe even better. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm in my own studio with my own equipment. And, uh, it, it works great. So I would really endorse it. It's well worth the money. You get what you pay for. And uh, <laughs> I wish I would have done this earlier. I would have never been able to develop this without the right kind of coaching. So, you know, job well done by Adam. And I'd say thank you. What do you feel like now you can do that before you couldn't? chest voice it's like <laughs> i never my, my chest voice was like c d and e like the middle c d and e i couldn't even sing low voice low notes in chest voice like it was yeah i just had no chest voice at all awesome. like full voice and now now what do you feel like you yeah now it's like went from like three notes to like it went lower and higher awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's great um, and uh, anything else that you feel like has been different from before to after? Um, mostly just my chest, my full voice, because I would always, like 100% of the time, I sang like in falsetto. Like I never, like never sang with like a projecting sound. And if I did, it would crack. And it was, yeah, so mostly just like being so able really to- like developing a mix. Like the, yeah. bringing the chest up and, and, you know, without pushing or straining, but still um, finding a full sound up there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you've made huge leaps from, from when we first started. So, I mean, when you messaged me that you had gotten to the D sharp on the bubs, that that's pretty nuts. Like that's insane. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm quite confident you'll be able to do this song um higher than I, I mean even though it feels intimidating i think you'll be able to do it yeah awesome imagine being able to watch over my shoulder as i show you exactly how to extend your range improve your vocal tone and develop the confidence to sing for anyone and have them enjoy your performance all while i'm holding your hand and personally guiding you through every step of the way imagine how much time you'll save compared to trying to figure this all out on your own now as you can imagine it's impossible for me to help everyone Actually, I like to keep my online courses quite small so that I can give everybody the help and support that they need through the process. So please understand that this is a rare opportunity and spots will be given out on a first come first serve basis. This is literally the best program that I've ever created and I wouldn't be surprised if it sells out in a number of hours. So please keep your eyes peeled for that moment when it goes live so you can jump on it and get the registration right away. In the next video, I'm gonna give you very specific instructions to make sure you get a spot in the course. And I'll also share some more information about the AM Vocal Masterclass and how it's different from other things you may have seen before. With all that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.